I regretted my eyebrow microblading experience and here is why. This is when I had gotten my eyebrows freshly microbladed. You can see the lines are very sharp and defined. Then this is a year later where they had faded significantly. You can see the lines have blurred a lot and it's turned an ashy grey colour. This is after three rounds of laser tattoo removal. As you can see, the colour has faded significantly. You can still kind of see a bit of a brownish tinge because it did change the colour from an ashy grey to more of a warm brown. Even though the pigment is still there, you can see that the laser has not caused any scarring or or hair loss whatsoever. So let's just start with what eyebrow microblading is. Microblading is basically just a form of semi-permanent tattooing where the artist does more superficial strokes of ink on the surface level of your skin and that way the eyebrow microblading does fade over time. Now microblading is marketed as a semi-permanent makeup which kind of gives off the impression that it will fade over time, which it does, but please note that when you get this, it does not completely go away. So that's something that I didn't really know going into this. I thought, you know, after a couple of years, it would just go away and my eyebrows would be normal or back to normal. So I was like, yeah, why not I try it and then if I don't like it, it will fade after a couple of years, so it's fine anyway. What I didn't understand was that anytime you put ink in your skin, that is going to stay there, okay? <laughs> Let's go into why I got eyebrow microblading in the first place. As you can see, my eyebrows, they are quite light and I do have hair on there but my hair is very fine. I never really had a big issue with this like I was fine with my eyebrows. Sometimes I would kind of want thicker eyebrows and when I would draw my eyebrows on with my eyebrow pencil I would like that look but I wasn't too unhappy with it like I was like yeah it's not as dark as I would want it to be but I am fine with it <laughs> but I think I kind of bought into that whole eyebrow microblading trend because a lot of people around me were getting it I had friends that got it I had family members and cousins that got it and I was kind of like well might as well get it and my friend got it and she kind of convinced me because she loved her eyebrow microblading and she still does so I think it's very particular on what you like for me I wasn't too fussed about it I didn't draw my eyebrows every single day to get dark eyebrows because I really didn't care but I was like oh it would be nice to just have it on so I didn't have to draw it on every day even though I didn't bother with that so that was kind of my first mistake you know I wasn't putting the effort to really draw my eyebrows every single day because I didn't really care that it was light but if I was maybe eyebrow microblading was for me because I would you know shave off time drawing my eyebrows on. I went to this artist that my cousin had gone to and she really liked it and also my friend had gone to. She's very popular in Sydney and has a very large following on Instagram, thousands of followers. So I was like, of course I'd go to her because she has really good customer ratings and reviews. And this isn't really anything against the artist, but I think when you're doing microblading, you do have to take these things into account. When I tell you that after I got the microbladed, I did not like the shape that I was given. And they do map it out, but I think I wasn't really looking at like the exact mapping and it's hard to tell when it's just a stencil and not actually filled in. And I kind of made the mistake of trusting my artist to know what I like my natural brows to be like when I should have just filled them in and then given her that kind of outline. I did show her pictures but that clearly wasn't good enough <laughs> to get the shape that I liked and I should have given her more direction I guess. She went way too in on the inside of my eyebrow and she made my tail of my eyebrow very short which I didn't really like because I liked it a bit longer. And it didn't really match my face, even though she had measured it, quote unquote. When you get your eyebrows microbladed, you are told the first two weeks they're going to get really dark, they're going to be really crazy, and then it will fade to a more natural effect and it won't be that bad. So I will put in clips of when I first got my eyebrows microbladed and you will see 
my reaction of me not liking it as soon as I got it. I'm kind of having a bit of a crisis because I feel like I don't like my brows. <laughs> like I just feel like the front is just too straight and usually when I do my brows I kind of point it down a little bit more and I feel like it's a little bit crooked, like it's not centered in my nose, if that makes sense. Like it's a little bit shifted that side. I don't know, I feel real sad about it and I don't know what to do. But the girl said that hopefully when it heals and fades, it'll be better. It is a day four of my microblading healing. I haven't noticed any flaking or anything like that so they're healing quite well i've just been using the ointment three times a day but my biggest concern is that i really don't like how close the front of my brows are to my nose because i feel like it draws more attention to my nose I just wish that it was like literally like two millimeters shorter because i feel like it would look more balanced whereas right now it just looks super long and thin at the front and i'm really regretting <laughs> my life right now it's not even that dark and i know that it takes two weeks to a month to heal before it looks like its final stage but i don't think that you can get rid of the front which is why i'm like really upset because obviously the color will change like the pigment will change it'll get lighter but the shape won't change if that makes sense and so now I'm kind of considering not even going for a touch up because I kind of don't like it and I feel like it's not really what I wanted and it's not really what I usually do to my brows when I feel in my brows and I'm really regretting not doing my makeup before I came in so that the brow artist could see how I normally do my brows because I feel like that would have given a better picture of what I like because there's nothing wrong with these brows, but it's just not my brows. Like, it's just not, like, the way that I want them and the way that I think suits my face. So, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just really hoping that it fades. Another thing is, I also had my shower today. So, it didn't get my brows super wet, but I think some water splashed on it, which I think is fine. Because if it fades at this point, I'm like, I really don't care. I'm just regretting my life. Like, why did I do this to myself when my brows were, like, fine before? Brow update. It is day five. My brows don't look flaky or anything, they do itch a little bit. Something that I did notice was this side of my brow, I much prefer that side than this side because I don't know if you can tell but the arch over here is a bit higher which is more of my natural brow and a bit longer whereas over here the arch is a lot lower and shorter like if you can see that side looks higher if that makes sense so hopefully she can fix that in the touch up i still don't like how close they are together i still think it needs to be further apart so i'm really hoping the front part fades because it's really drawing attention to my nose i was kind of trying to hold out hope that i would like it after the two weeks after it had healed but i really still didn't like it it did get lighter but i still didn't like the shape and the shape isn't going to change it was just the vibrance that was going to change so i was kind of like oh what do i do now i had these eyebrows for about a year and every single day i looked in the mirror and i hated it did not like it okay I honestly became more self-conscious after I got my eyebrows microbladed than before of my face and that's the opposite of what you want you want these treatments to enhance your looks and not make it worse so that's kind of why I'm now more cautious on getting beauty treatments and things done because I quite like my face and there's not really much that I would want to change. Why would I spend thousands of dollars to change my face when I'm fine with my face? I've learned to accept it and I think that's the key to everything is if you just accept your face and you love it, have a bit of fun with makeup, you can take it off the next day and I think that's just like my personality is I don't like permanent things. Like I don't mind dyeing or cutting my hair because I know that my hair will grow back 
and I can change that. So I kind of hated my eyebrows for a whole year. I kind of gave it a year to see how much it faded and it did fade but it did fade to a kind of ashy grey colour which I didn't like. I was scared of that going into microblading but I was like it probably will be fine but it did fade to a really unpleasant colour which is going to happen with microblading anyway which I also didn't know. I got laser to remove it. I have finished three sessions of laser now and now my eyebrows are this colour. Even my laser lady, she was like, oh, your eyebrows were drawn way too in and I can definitely see that. So it wasn't just me that was saying like this was wrong. A lot of the people around me, like my family and my friends were like, yeah, it's way too in, even before I mentioned it. Thank the Lord, with the laser, most of the pigment has been gone and it also turned it more of a natural brown colour instead of an ashy grey colour as well. There's still some pigment that I see that will hopefully fade in time and if not, I will just have to go back and get more laser. But laser is expensive and I spent a total of... $700 or $800 on my eyebrow microblading experience because I got my initial round and then after I think six weeks something you get a touch up as well which I shouldn't have got the touch up I should have just left it because I clearly did not like it I think I was just holding out hope that if she fixed it a little bit then I would like it more but she really didn't fix it she just kind of went over it again and just made it darker which now is going to make it harder to remove because she put more pigment in and when I did bring up these concerns with my eyebrow lady she just said like oh just wait it's just the initial vibrance that is kind of scaring you otherwise you can get it removed and I did kind of feel dismissed by my eyebrow lady I don't want to name her because I don't want to hurt her business because I'm sure there's so many clients that absolutely love their eyebrows, my cousins and my friends being examples. But obviously with every service, you're going to have some customers that don't like it. I really loved my laser experience. I wish I didn't have to do it, but if I were to recommend any service, I would recommend this laser lady. I will put their details below if you live in Sydney. They are really good. I had the best experience. It was honestly painless. It hurt less than the actual microblading itself. What she does is she just puts the laser on your eyebrows. She puts numbing cream so that you don't really feel it. It hurts less than laser hair removal if you've done that before. But I do have a higher pain tolerance so it might be different for everyone. Some people say it kind of feels like a rubber band snapping on your skin. But honestly, it was like a 1 out of 10 pain. It was fine. And I'm hoping that my eyebrows would fully fade after a couple of months. That's what my laser lady told me. And she said, just give it time. The eyebrow microblading experience, it did hurt. And it took two weeks to heal. And it did get darker. I did put numbing cream on as well. But it did definitely hurt. And for some reason, because apparently this is a phenomenon that happens. But I started sneezing. It's really strange. But apparently, it's on that nerve on your face that triggers sneezes. Would I do it again? No. Wish I didn't have to get them removed. They're still kind of there. Would I recommend it? I probably wouldn't unless you fill in your eyebrows every single day. But do note that it will change to a different color and you'll have to get it touched up. After this experience, I've seen a lot of people online who regret their microblading. I think... They can be great for some people, but for me, I personally did not like it. And it was also just a waste of money. I think I altogether spent one and a half thousand to two thousand dollars to get the eyebrow microblading. Hate it for a whole year and hate my eyebrows and my face for a whole year, which was honestly traumatizing. And then getting it removed. I am glad that I waited a year to get it removed because the pigment did fade a little bit more, so it was easier to get rid of but the removing process is expensive as well. So, wasted a lot of money, wasted a lot of time, wasted my own mental energy, hating my eyebrows. 10 out of 10, wouldn't recommend. Please let me know if you are thinking about getting your eyebrows microbladed, if this video kind of changed your decision, if you have gotten it before and regret it as well. I know there's multiple microblading forms of removal like saline and laser. I've seen people online say that saline is really, really painful and there's a big scab that scabs off for like two weeks. Laser for me, there was basically no healing time. I got lasered, 
didn't really hurt. I put some post laser gel that my laser lady gave me. It was slightly kind of itchy maybe, like a sunburn, but it lasted a couple of days and then it was fine. I had really no redness, no swelling. So it was a really good experience and I have noticed the effects that every time I got it done, my eyebrows lightened significantly. So I would really 10 out of 10 recommend that one. Let me know if you're thinking about getting your eyebrows removed, if you regret it, if you've gotten laser or saline removal and what your experience was with that down below. Hope this video was helpful and informative to you in some sort of way and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.